Whenever you're looking for average velocity or just average rate of change, you're really just looking at your slope formula. So in this first situation here, they want you to find the slope between when t is 3 and t is 4. In other words, you have your 3 here. To find slope, we've got to have a point. So we have our input being 3, we've got to find our output. So all we have to do is take our 3 and plug it in here. 3 squared is 9 times 10, and we get 90. Then this is our other input. So then we've got to take that to be able to find our point, take 4 and plug it in here and we get 160. So now we just do our slope, change in y over change in x. So you can do the 160 minus the 90 divided by the 4 minus the 3. Even when it's not as nice numbers as we have here, it's still the same process. This is your first input of 3, so to be able to get your output for that, you take 3 and plug it in here, and we get 90 again. Then our other input's the 3.1, so take 3.1, plug it in here. Most of you will use your calculator, and you get 96.1. So then all we have to do is our slope, change in our y's, divided by change in our x's. So then we get 6.1 over 0.1, which gives us 61. And in the context of this problem, our units would be feet per second. And you're going to do a very similar process for all the rest of these problems.